always been interested in understanding how things are made, how they're put together, what gives them their strength, their performance. My name is Finn Giuliani. I'm a lecturer in material science and I work in the departments of mechanical engineering and material science at Imperial College. Over the last 200 years, engineers have become experts at making large, lightweight structures. I'm curious about understanding the properties of materials on a tiny length scale, particularly their mechanical properties. This roof, which is maybe 100, 200 metres long, if we shrunk this down to about a centimetre, length of your thumbnail, each one of these small components that makes it up is the kind of size we're testing. So we're talking about scales of a fraction of a millimetre down to the atomic level. And what we notice is when we look at materials on this scale, they have very different properties. They might be a lot stronger, they might be more ductile than we expect. So there seems to be an, a number of trends though happening in material science at the moment and in, in related to these type of fine structured materials. So the first trend we see is what we can fabricate by 3D printing type additive manufacturing methods is shrinking. The resolution is increasing, the number of materials we can print with is increasing as well. To take this further, we're going to have to produce structures that are far smaller than that. A thousandth of a millimetre, a ten thousandth of a millimetre and so forth. The third part of this which is running in parallel is actually understanding what changes in a, in a material or what changes in the properties we measure as you shrink the length scale. And in the last 10 years there's been a large improvement in our knowledge or expansion in our knowledge. What we find in some materials we get a large increase in strength, maybe up to a factor of 10 of 100 in some extreme cases, getting very close to the theoretical properties. And in other, often more brittle materials, we see a, an increase in their ductility. As the capacity to process materials on smaller and smaller length scales increases, or effectively reduces, so we can move down to scales around below a micron to 100 nanometers, these tiny scales, this is where we get to a point where we're getting, we're getting towards the intrinsic strength of our material. And what we see then is that they perform, at least in their individual components, they perform maybe 10 or 100 times better than we would see in a large piece of material. The question will be whether we can bring this improvement that we see for these small members to then a large um, engineering structure. In the future, we're going to align or bring together these advanced processing techniques where you can make very small, very complicated structures with the kind of engineering design rules that are used in these large structures. Bringing those two together can make far more efficient components and far stronger and lighter components, which is crucial for the next generation of transport and particularly aviation industry.